Welcome to day 14 of 30 days of Lightroom. Today we're gonna to show you how to batch edit your photos, meaning you only have to edit one photo and then click and make that same edit across all of your images. Hello and welcome back to our series where we teach you literally everything you need to know about Lightroom in 30 days. I am so excited for today. We're talking about batch editing and this is a fundamental part of what makes Lightroom Classic amazing. And here's the deal. If you go out and you take a bunch of different pictures, you put them all on your computer and then you're like, oh, these are all a little bit too dark. Well, batch editing is going to allow you to edit one of those photos and then apply that edit across the entire series. So this is a really cool way to get a lot of work done very quickly. Also, if you want to create like a specific type of look, you can do that on one of your images and apply it across the rest. So let's go ahead and jump in, show you how to do it. So here we are. I love this series of photos. You can download these. They're JPEGs. You can download them. Just follow the link right down below so you can follow along. We have like a camping group here. It's really, really cool. Now let's go ahead and click on our first image and we're going to hit D for our develop module. So you can see this is straight out of the import dialog. And let's go ahead and reset to make sure we have no edits. Now, first thing I want to do, let's go to our basic editor and we can click here on auto. There we go. So we just have a nice auto edit. Let's see. It made our highlights a little bit darker. It made our shadows a little bit brighter and give us a little bit of vibrance and saturation. I think that's looking pretty good. Now, I have a couple ideas of what I want to do with this image. So first thing is let's go ahead here to our masking. Let's click there. And we're going to go to where it says people and check this out. I can just go to all people. It's going to find all the people in my photograph. Okay. We're going to click entire person and I'm going to click on create mask. So I've created a mask that's basically selecting all the people in the image. And then now what I can do is maybe I want to bring up our exposure just a tiny bit. And I want to bring up our shadow level just a tiny bit, just to make the people a little bit brighter, help them stand out from the background. You can see not a huge change, but a nice before and after. Okay. This is looking really good. So let's go ahead. We're going to get out of our mask simply by clicking right here on our masks. And then we're going to go back to our library module. So you can hit G to get back to your library module. Or if you have this little thing, uh, this bar visible, by the way, you can click on this little arrow to hide or show this top bar. We can click here on library. Okay. So you can see I've edited this one photograph. It's a little bit brighter. It's a little bit more saturated. My subjects are standing out. looks really good. So, what do we do if we want to apply that same edit to everything? Well, simply click on the first image that you want to select. This is going to be your main image and then hold shift and then click on the rest. Now, what you're going to notice is our main image. You can see the background here is a little bit brighter than all the other ones. So this is indicating that this is our main image. Okay. And these are all secondary images. So it's going to sync all of these image to the main image. Fantastic. Now you can do this as many times as you'd like. You can go back and forth and you could make this your main image and then select all the other ones too. So there's no like right or wrong way to do this. You can change your mind at any time. Okay. So this looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead. We've got everything selected. I'm in the library module. This is really important. Okay. And we're going to go right down here to where it says sync settings. So let's click on sync settings. Now this is super cool because here we can actually decide what we would like to synchronize. And some of the time, maybe you would just want to synchronize uh, some color grading or like one or two things. But in this case, I want to go ahead and take all of the adjustments that I made to this first image and I want to apply them to everything. So I'm okay clicking on check all. Now you'll notice really the only thing that's not checked is our masking. Okay. So let's go ahead and make sure we check the masking. And remember, this is the mask where we selected all the people in our image and we made them a little bit brighter. Okay. So in this case, I could just click check all and it would make sure it's going to synchronize everything. So let's click here on synchronize and see what it does. Okay. It says your edits were synced, but updating AI settings may take some time. So what this is doing is using AI to identify all the people in each one of these photographs and then with that mask, making them a little bit brighter. So look at all, I mean, done <laughs> in real time and check out all these images that look like they're subtle from the same photo shoot as well. So let's hit controller command D to deselect. We'll click on this other image and then go to our develop module and see, let's go into our masks and then look at this mask that we just made. Let's hit show overlay. How amazing is that? It actually 
recalculated the people that are in this photograph and increased our exposure just a little bit and it brought our shadow level up just a little bit as well. It made that exact same edit that we did with our first image. So even if you have different people in different locations, as long as when you go to create new mask and you go to select people, as long as you just click right over here and click on all people, it's gonna find all the people in your image and make that same adjustment. So let's say you're photographing, make a wedding and you have like different family photos, you know, the bride and the groom, the bride with the bride's parents, groom with the groom's parents, you know, like a lot of different photographs. You can simply say select all people and then bring up the shadow levels, maybe make some edits and it would just find every single person and make sure it edits them all the same. It's a really powerful tool. Now we're gonna go ahead back here to our library module and let's say, you know what, this looks cool, but maybe I want like, I don't know, maybe like a Wes Anderson. I mean, this is kind of like a Wes Anderson type photo shoot anyway, right? So maybe I want these to feel a little bit more like Wes Anderson, which is a really cool director. He tends to use really beautiful colors and a lot of time it's subtle. So I'm gonna kind of lower my contrast and give it a different look. So here in our develop module, we're gonna go to our basic edits here. And this time, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna hold Alt or Option, okay? This is a really cool trick. If you hold Alt or Option, you're gonna see where it says white balance, where it says tone. It's gonna say reset, okay? So Alt or Option and I can reset all of these right back to where they were when they started. How nice is that? Okay, so we're gonna start, I just wanna lower the contrast a little bit, okay? We're gonna have a slightly different feel to these images. We're gonna bring up our shadow levels. There we go. And I want a little bit more vibrance. There we are. But I wanna make my greens, I wanna make them a little bit more yellow. So we're gonna go into our color mixer and we're gonna to go to where it says mixer and then hue and I'm gonna grab this little icon and I'm gonna click here on my greens and we're just gonna click and drag them down to make it a little bit more yellow to kind of like introduce that type of coloring with our image. Now I think this is looking really good. Let's go ahead here. I'm gonna bring up the vibrance just a little bit more Okay, now keep in mind, we still have this mask that is uh, affecting our subjects. It's making them all a little bit brighter. But I like the look of this photo. I think it's really cool. You know what? Maybe I wanna lower the contrast even more, okay? To like really get a, a like very special look for this photograph. All right, that's looking really cool. So let's say we like this edit and now we wanna apply it across all of our images. Well, it's easy to do. We just click here on a library and you can see, yep, this photo looks pretty different from all the other ones. The greens we changed, it's much less contrast, much less saturation. So now I want every photograph to look like this. Well, easy. I just simply make sure I select this photo and then hit Control or Command A again. And you can see now this photo is lighter than the other photo. So again, it's letting us know that this photo is now our reference photo and it's going to affect all of the other ones. So you can see we started off with this being our reference photo for our first edit, then I changed my mind, I edited this one out how I liked it, and now we're gonna sync to this one. So again, all I have to do, sync, click right here on, oh, <laughs> if you have a thumbnail, by the way, if, you're, if you have your film strip, it just brings that right up to sync settings. But I'm gonna go ahead and click here to minimize this, and my sync settings is gonna be on the bottom right. Fantastic. So. Again, same settings. I've clicked on my first image and then hit Control or Command A to select the rest. So we're gonna hit Sync Settings. And then in this case, yeah, we're gonna hit Check All. I want all the settings. I want it to look exactly like this one. Let's click on Synchronize. There we go. It's gonna ask us if we want to merge the masks or we wanna replace the masks. And you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and say replace the existing masks that are the setters. So let's go ahead and replace them. It's gonna calculate all my masks again. It's gonna find each subject one more time and then edit those. But you can see it really doesn't take that long to do. It's doing a lot of work here in the background. And then once this is done, it's basically gonna say, and you're gonna see it in real time here, boom, all of these images now look the same. Isn't that incredibly cool? So now we have the same type of look. I can double click and just kind of go through these images and they all have the same type of look with them synced back to this photograph. So this works as many times as you'd like to make your edit. Maybe you do this and you're like, you know what? It's still pretty good, but let's go ahead. Let's make our color temperature just a little bit cooler. I think that's gonna work a little bit better. And then Control or Command A, select them all, sync settings, and then click on, you know what? And this time we'll just hit uh, check none and we'll just check white balance because that's the only thing I changed. Let's just make sure we do the white balance, click on synchronize, 
and then boom, it worked on the white balance for all those photographs. It didn't have to tame it didn't have to take the time to recalculate those AI masks. I just changed white balance, so that's the only thing that I synced. And this is a cool series. I really, really like these photographs. And you can see, edited one time, made a change across the entire batch. Did an update, updated that across the entire batch as well. So this is one of the most powerful features here in Lightroom. Now, this doesn't say you have to get all of your editing perfect across all your photos, but a lot of the time it's gonna be like, you know, if you photograph an event, it's gonna be like, okay, these 30 photos are slightly underexposed. These 30 photos, maybe the white balance is off. So you can make that edit, brrr, apply it, make another edit, brrr, you get the idea by now. This is an amazing feature and I really appreciate you hanging out and watching it. Thanks so much. We'll see you tomorrow for more amazing Lightroom knowledge. Thanks everyone. Goodbye.